Okay, here's how to create a tub. I've got a vehicle that I'd like to put some glass in and also create a tub so I can go ahead and put an interior or model an interior in it. Um, so what I've done already was create poly groups. Create poly groups for it, which was easy enough to do. Simply draw on the mask and control W and make that into make that into a poly group and that way I can hide and uh, show various groups in order to um, isolate them and in order to work on them so having done that created my poly groups and by the way to help me create these poly groups I had first used poly paint to draw on the glass areas and then that informed uh, that helped me to create the mask then which went ahead and helped me or enabled me to create the poly group so having done that I'm just going to go ahead and um, isolate just the body and then I am going to split hidden so I'm going to make that into its own group or own sub tool and then I'll hide that. And I also want to go ahead and divide this up. Since these are not touching, I can divide these up into separate poly groups. I'm going to do that by going to uh, geometry, no poly groups, and then auto group. That way, I can also. Take this and and also split this into its own own sub two. So now we've got just this lower section, the lower body, and then the upper body, and then we've got the glass. With that, that's going to enable me to do. I'm going to go ahead and just <clears throat> cover the hole here. I'm going to cover the hole with geometry um, close holes. So now I've got this this section, and automatically I've got something I can work with in terms of creating a tub for this vehicle. But to to go a step further, what I like to do is isolate this, and I'm going to Control E this. But really, what I'm doing when I control E this I am putting an edge loop around the whole thing and really that in the menu that is going to geometry edge loop and pressing edge loop here so when you do that if you look closely there should be there should be a poly group around that edge I know that because you can see that slight line there so what that's going to allow me to do bring everything back by clicking in the screen or shift shift control clicking in the screen and then I'll isolate I'll isolate this mask it bring everything back and flip the mask and then that's going to allow me to scale everything in which is going to create a ledge you can see this ledge around around that and that's going to be the beginnings of the beginnings of the um, tub and I'm going to come back and control E again, which put a loop around there. And then mask it, flip the mask, flip the mask. And what that should do is allow me to now, and I'm creating this, I'm creating this um, lower section based on what happened is that that's not sufficiently masked so something happened there so mask this come back flip the mask and so now I can come back and this is going to be getting the beginnings of my tub so now you can see clearly that I've got a tub in which 
I can begin to model. So once I have a tub, I can proceed from here in many ways. Um, one way to proceed is to uh, use the mass to create extracts for the various components. So that's what I'll do. I'm going to actually draw out maybe something like this. What I'm doing is creating some mass or creating some clay for the um, IP. Go ahead and do that. Go to extract right here and then go ahead and do that. Okay, so you have to do accept. And so now that I've got that, I can go ahead, grab that, that polygroup alone. There's actually like four or three polygroups, the front, the edge, and then the rear. I'm going to grab just the first one, mask it, and then flip the mask. So I should only be picking the front, and I can just move this back like so. I'm going to scale it like this, and then move it back, have a more flat front. And I want to take this probably way up like this. Turn it like this. Let's keep it up about that high for now. Because all we are is creating some clay in which to model. And then from there, I can just simply go and dynamesh this. Now I've got some mask in which to model. I can come, come in and um, let's use the uh, trim dynamic and maybe you can model this in any kind of way so I'm not going to get, really get into um, really detailing this out or really modeling it in a way that that is completely appropriate or a real design just giving you a point something in which to spark some ideas on how to proceed when you are starting your your interior or you want to do an interior for a vehicle of course you can isolate this just like any other tool and um, work on it separately Right now I'm just seeing how it feels inside the vehicle. That's too equal. Again, purpose is not to get into the design. It's one thing when I'm doing giving demos, I get so far off into the design that um, then I'm not really illustrating the uh, technique. And that's a trap that I fall into all the time. In any case, okay, so this is the, let's call that an IP of some sort for now. 
I'll get in the bottom a little bit. So that's the IP. And I've got some seats here. I'm going to bring the seats back. So we've got the seats. And I've modeled the seats in pretty much the same way in ZBrush. Actually, exactly the same way in ZBrush. And so now we have the beginnings of an interior. I can do the same thing with the doors, bring some, create some geometry. And um, with that geometry, I can. With that geometry, I can start shaping it, right? So we've got the beginnings. I, of course, we need a we need an IP. Well, we've got an IP, but we need a center, uh, the binnacle, and instrumentation, and all of that. But you can see my point. You can you can begin an interior of the tub by following those simple steps. That's one way of doing it. There's many ways you can use a Boolean. I'll get into that in another video coming up. Well, let me show you, let me show you before I end the uh, top on it. Where is it? So that's, so that's the uh, A pillar and the D pillar pretty much the top of the vehicle. Let me put on display, double-sided, so nothing disappears. Double-sided on this, this part. So now you can really see that's the vehicle. And we've got some interior bits in there. And we are ready to uh, proceed and finish that interior. Now what I would do really uh, to finish this up is to, besides actually modeling every little bit and piece, I would take this inside of Maya, put some figures in there, you know, some real looking figures and position them, make sure everything is proportionally correct. And when that, uh, when, when done with that, I would bring it back into ZBrush and complete modeling it. So there. I hope that helps, and I will see you next time. Take care.